Cyprin from F here for all here. So in this video I decided to review an engineering book. Uh, so this is a book about thermal computation for electronics. So here, here it is by Gordon and Ellison. So it's a very interesting book that I've been reading in the past month uh, about how to understand the theory and the practice uh, behind computation of heat, cooling and all the kind of uh, thermal behavior that you can expect when you're working with electronic equipments. So I've been amazed with the content of this book which goes from the basics and teach you the basics principle of uh, heat and thermal uh, but also give you very practical examples uh, which really give you a sense of how this works so I've been um, I've been through all of the chapters one by one and I really uh, I hope that this book can be really useful for some of you especially if you're interested in uh, looking at cooling and there are some great um, great knowledge to to gain from this book especially if you um, you want to understand not only how to simulate that but also how to uh, understand the physics behind it uh, in a more natural manner let's say uh, without necessarily having to compute everything on the computer first you can use like uh, thermal networks theory or you can use uh, various uh, things like that that can help you to get an idea of the temperature into your uh, system without uh, having to compute everything first and and this I think this really helps for um, engineers who, who works with uh, thermal so let's let's have a look at what's inside the book chapter by chapter um, and I'll tell you some of the things that I thought were good about the book and some of the things that were uh, maybe less good. Um, so let, let's go over that. So here it is, Thermal Computations for Electronics by Gordon and Ellison, Conductive, Radiative and Collective Earth Cooling. So let's have a look at what's uh, inside this book. Let's have a look first at the table of contents which is uh, always very important to have a look um, so you see that there's a big introduction about the mechanisms of heat flow uh, so conduction convection radiation so it it tells you the basic equations and uh, those are really the most basic things you have to understand first um, and then it goes with a bunch of examples to basically apply what's inside this uh, chapter and I I liked this chapter because it's uh, it's really practical so if um, so I'll have a look afterwards uh, I will not review all the chapters of course because you know this book is like it's huge uh, more than 500 pages so then when you go over the introduction it already gives you a sense of what will be inside this book and there are some uh, nice explanation about what is the thermal network uh, solution uh, some solution you can use for finite element method and when you actually need it uh, there are a lot of interesting things on that uh, then you go on the thermodynamics of airflow which basically goes over um, the the flow of heat um, and it's more from a fluid perspective so it goes over the thermodynamics equation and uh, how uh, you know heat is computed and calculated for uh, in terms of air flows uh, and then it has a description about force to flows in systems which includes fans and all the equation you need for that so this is a part that I actually I, I was very interested to to know about this I'm not so much a specialist into fan calculation and um, the design of fans and all of this this is pretty interesting stuff then they were um, then you have force flow in ducts extrusion and uh, pin fin arrays uh, a lot more examples but for different types of uh, applications 
which uh, go more in depth on the on the force flow. Then it talks about the buoyancy uh, driven draft. So it's uh, uh, basically the, the the kind of heat cooling which is driven by the buoyancy effect. So you can also learn into it what is the buoyancy effect. Um, so there's a lot of um, a lot of that, and then it goes to force convecting he, uh, convective heat transfer. Uh, again, in different kind of components, uh, it talks about the dimensionless numbers, the Nussel, the Reynolds, the Prandtl, uh, all this, and and then it talks about uh, the same but in ducts, extrusion, and pin arrays. Um, and when this is over about force conduction, so you see that you have already more than 100 pages talking about force uh, conduction uh, and convection. So really uh, important to have this kind of knowledge. And then it talks about natural convection, so uh, which is may sometimes a bit more tricky. Um, and uh, you have also analysis of different kind of systems, so plates, heat sinks, um, and then talks about radiation, uh, and there are two chapters about conduction, uh, and finally there are some more advanced stuff at the end about the additional mathematical methods uh, that you can use, and it includes some um, knowledge about finite, uh, finite element analysis models, it, uh, it comes with some examples um, that are, that have been built into open source uh, FEA software, uh, like Codaster, for example. Uh, so that's why it's it's pretty interesting book. So let's dive quickly into um, you know the content of the book. I won't go over everything because it's just impossible. Um, so it goes over first some of the principle and. What I can say is that I like the fact that you know all the numerical applications uh, are put into numbers right into the uh, the equations. So you see how it's calculated, uh, and you have the, the direct uh, the direct results here. Um, so it's pretty detailed, basically. It's pretty detailed, and I like the way this is explained. Um, it's really explained in an understand understandable manner. Um, so if you go over the text and you, you think about this equation and you, you try to calculate that, you really get a practical understanding of how um, you know cooling and heating uh, actually works and can be calculated. Um, so this is, for example, a simple thermal network model. And it just tells you that you know a simple PCB like that with uh, a power transistor, heat sink, uh, some bolt. This can be um, split out in terms of thermal resistance, uh, and then you get you can draw some kind of simple scheme like this. And when you know where the heat uh, transfer flow is coming in, you can calculate basically the heat at different points of the structure. So of course this is simplification. You only get an idea of um, of the heat not exactly the, the, the temperature at each point for which you would require to use FEA. But this, in, in some systems, it's really uh, enough. And you can generalize this theory with more complex networks. Um, it talks about compact com component models, for example. So how, how you would um, analyze the thermal circuit for forced air cooled enclosure like this one. It looks like a pretty complex model. If you had to do that with FEA, this would take a lot of hours to model every component inside the box, model the box. Um, it's a very difficult work. Uh, but if you, you follow what is explained here and the way to, to calculate this kind of uh, system, you understand that you, you can make each part of the system as a separate uh, as a separate component with a certain thermal resistance, you can understand the flow of heat uh, in which way basically it's going, and you can get some uh, some calculation going on very quickly using such a method. So um, I like this. 
and uh, after that it talks about FEA and how you can um, you can get more uh, you know uh, more detailed result at any point using FEA that gives you some simple examples um, you have a lot of exercise as well and like that you know I will not review everything because this is huge uh, this book is huge uh, but more you go into uh, into the book more you'll have details about airflows and uh, calculation of uh, fans um, and you know I, I didn't read everything yet <laughs> because it's really packed to its knowledge um, but I went through some of uh, the most important and interesting things that I thought um, were really really cool and I'm sure that I'll be using some of those uh, for the blog uh, to, to show some practical examples and maybe show you how to calculate that with Codaster or I'll definitely take some example from this book so this is a very uh, very good book and I really recommend you to um, to to get it and to to try if you are interested into this kind of electronic uh, calculation. So I was telling you I would also talk about the negative point about this book. There aren't much uh, negative things about this book, uh, to be frank. There is only one thing which is a bit annoying for me, being an European, is that this book is targeted for the US market, so all the um, numerical application in the book are in a metric unit, um, and basically sometimes I have to do the conversion in the other units to kind of uh, makes it relate more uh, to, to my own kind of calculations. But I think this is a natural thing for engineers to, to convert from one type of units to the other. And it's not too much big of a hassle uh, as, you know, what is important is really to understand how it works. And, you know, numerical application, you can always uh, change the unit and, and get the results. So that was really the, the only point that I, I found was a bit annoying. Uh, the rest was uh, really good. So. This book will definitely be in my library and to be frank I, I have a lot of uh, engineering books uh, in my, my home uh, because my philosophy is that if I can find only one or two things which are really interesting in an engineering book I just buy it because um, you know I, I kind of accumulate this kind of uh, good uh, solid engineering resources that you cannot find on internet or uh, on on websites and whenever I have a problem I just go back to the, the books I know who, who which will uh, give me this kind of knowledge so um, that's all for this video I hope this was useful and that um, uh, if you have any question any comment as usual just uh, leave it in the, the video and let me know, by the way, if you like this kind of uh, book review type of videos. I can do for other books as well. Um, this is the first thing I'm, I'm doing this kind of thing. So I was thinking, you know, uh, it might be useful. It might be interesting. And uh, um, so if, if you do think this is good, uh, let me know. That's all. So thank you again and uh, goodbye.